on February 14, 2024, Apo Wang Ud received the Presidential Medal of Merit from President Bong Bong Marcus. She is the oldest woman to model on the cover of Vogue magazine. Born 1917. Wang Ud is known as the last Kalinga traditional tattooist. At age 15, she began tattooing butt butt headhunters and women. Butt butt warriors traditionally earned tattoos from deeds in combat. With the end of tribal warfare in the region, Wang Ud continues to practice traditional tattooing on tourists visiting Buscalan. She does not speak Tagalog or English. She only communicates in Kalinga, her native language. She was nominated for the National Living Treasure Award in 2017. Her nomination is still being processed by the NCCA. The tattoo ink she uses is composed of indigenous materials, usually a mixture of charcoal and water that is tapped into the skin using a thorn from a pomeliol tree. This ancient technique of batak dates back a thousand years. It's relatively painful compared to conventional means. As the weeks and months go by, I realized just how profound and special my experience was. I literally climbed a mountain to get to the sky village. Yuskalan. So much was running through my head, it was only days since I landed in the Philippines. I'm grateful I have the footage, to keep my memory focused. Otherwise, it would just be all blur. Not a lot of thought went into where I was going to get my tattoo. I just gave her my arm and then pointed where she should tattoo me. Before you even ask, I will just say it. It hurt and felt exactly what it looks like. I just smiled and tried to focus on blocking out the pain. Here's a fun fact. I almost backed out. I kept watching other people get tattooed and I kept thinking, this does not look that clean. Not super sanitary. I pulled my girl to the side and I told her my doubts. I said to her, yo, I'm backing out. She was not super thrilled. Kept saying things like we traveled all this way. But she did say she would support any decision I made. Time was ticking and I was next. I ultimately decided I was a traveler, a adventurer that these were the risks you take to live a life worth living. The funny thing is, after my tattoo she backed out. But she got an awesome picture with a pole, so it was all good. There are many ways you can travel to see Wang Ode. You can hire a guide. You can take part in a tour package. Travel there by bus, then stop in Sagata and see all the sights there. You can stay in a transit house in Buscalan. I personally think that would have to be amazing. I read travelers and outsiders are required to follow a curfew and are not allowed to be out and walking around the village at night. That makes a lot of sense. Because there are lots of places you could trip and fall while walking. You could do what I did and travel there with family. We rented a van and made the trip that way. I think that's the way to go. Wow, oh, so sorry. <laughs> 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 
So my journey in the mountains is pretty much a wrap. The mountain provinces are definitely a place worth exploring. Sagata in particular. Busklan for sure. At the end of this video I got some bonus footage of strawberry fields. But the thing is, when we got there, there was no more strawberries. But it had plenty of other produce and it was really beautiful. The mountains have been amazing. I've loved the weather. This part of the journey might be over, but next week, we're going to see the ocean. We're going to see the beach. We're going to swim in some water. Please join me next week. This has been Big Guy Travels XL.